Welcome back to War Leaders Clash of Nations. Last time we clashed with a whole bunch of South American nations and Central America as well. This time we're going to, well, not going to move out because we have to repair these guys here first. We're going to have some guards here. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're going to put just a bunch of these guys here. And we're also chasing the Japanese fleet in the Pacific. And as well as moving some troops over here, which should still take oh, another four turns, but that's okay, we're halfway there. The Our allies are doing okay, uh, Britain is pretty aggressive, which I actually really like. And I wonder whether they control where your stuff is being built. I guess it doesn't really matter too much, I suppose it's just predetermined. In any case, do we want to build more stuff here? Do we want a heavy vehicle factory? Yeah, let's get one of those. And... Let's check what could could be built here. I guess we could build another research center here because we may as well may as well do that and then increase our research potential because we have quite a bit of money, so that would be nice. And you know what? Let's let's just do that everywhere. It does cost some maintenance, but at the same time, researchers can give you such a great advantage. I remember researching the two vehicle or tank upgrades or steel upgrades, whatever you want to call them or metal alloy upgrades and that just gave me huge boost as Germany because suddenly we had access to way better tanks. So it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't very incremental, it was like a huge step forward. And since you can upgrade tanks Oh I don't like where this is going. Might have to save Soviet Union here, but it looks good. Looks good to me. There we go, more stuff has been produced and we've Yeah, so we're still doing okay with regard to oil and everything. You please come over here. And yeah, that's what we want. So you're still on your way. You maybe move over here, so the fleet could be somewhere there. You attack these guys here. And it's, yeah, so, so it's meant to hold the line here. They're concentrating all their troops here, which is probably for the better. At least we've got somewhat of a stalemate here. India has been conquered back by the British. And since we have repair out all of these guys here. Should we just move against both Bolivia and Peru in the same turn? We'll have to see about that. Uh, let's produce uh, a couple of guys. Oh, we can produce elite guys here. Marine, Ranger, US Commando, Sniper. Let's get a Commando. I guess that might actually help against the rebels, but we'll have to see. Okay, so let's completely overdo it and just conquer. Yep, I know, I know. Could declare war of them formally, but come on, why? Why would we? Do, why would we do that? So we have a lot of days of infamy here. I'm not quite sure whether I actually need that many guys lurking around here, but we may as well. So we've got all of these guys here. I still don't want you to cross the Pacific unaccompanied, because that might just be a bad idea in general. I expect it to be way more resistance to face way more resistance here, because now I don't have an, another escort fleet, but it's okay. Once we invade Japan, we can also build new stuff there, which is probably going to be easier. And Tokyo should have a, a nice amount of juicy buildings. Okay, Japan is shuffling stuff around. Bring in the planes. Well, let's see how long this lasts. Thankfully, the game auto saves after every single turn, so if it if the game does crash, it, it's usually not too long to catch up with that. Nope. Heroic victory. Awesome. Heroic victory. Please don't crash. And we had yet another crash. Now the interesting part here is that this apparently happened... Oh, I've got another general here as well. This happens when the films are played. That seems to be crash factor number one at the moment. But at the same time, it's still... It's still saved when I still save my conquests and everything, so that's that's kind of interesting. In any case, we're going to yeah, we're going to build some guys here. That should be enough to keep keep these guys here down. So it's my ooh regi wow, regime affinity is really high, so that's interesting. And why is that no longer automated? Don't tell me I have to I have to automate that for all the conquered provinces now. That would be inconvenient if that happened every time I reload, but we'll have to see. So it seems re regime affinity just increases over time, I guess, to like, represent us installing puppet, puppet governments. 
or whatever in any case so Venezuela I'm still disappointed that you only give me 35 oil how, do, how much does Texas give me or what no how does Texas give me no oil how, how New Mexico how how does this even work what what where do I even get my oil from okay you know what whatever I don't even care in any case what we want to do is move oh yes we're still moving wait no we are, we're chasing you around here aren't we yes we are so you should probably do I want you to head wait a second uh is one is one of you my tr my uh oh yeah you my transport oh that's so exciting and your movement got deleted as well because i reloaded this game oh well in any case you can stay here you can actually escort these guys here just gives me extra safe you can not do anything of interest right now you just get over here that should be fine so let's see and yeah you just have to wait until we tear with more guys to to escort you around i suppose i could get so maybe a carrier or two and then well we, oh damn can we build these carriers quickly you'd think that would a uh, battleship takes like how how does how does building a cruiser take less time than building a carrier how does it even work maybe two destroyers or so just so we have a yet another fleet here and is there anything else i want to do in this round here i don't think i do but let's see also the the crash broke the sound for some reason i'm not quite sure where that came from i thought at first it was just muted but it's not muted in the menu i apologize for that i'm pretty sure that it will fix itself after the next crash but we'll just have to see about that in any case yeah there we go yeah this goes a, a little bit faster there's a lot more action but at the same time there's also less players on the field all right here we go financial balance going down a little bit but we're still accumulating a fair amount of money so i think we're doing fine here you have been fixed i think i want all of you to conquer argentina which should be the strongest or second strongest nation in south america after or before brazil and but we'll, we'll have to see about that do you want to oh yeah i've got my u.s commandos here so do you want to do you want to take over i can't want to take over cuba don't i uh can i this okay so okay so the panama canal is a thing yeah i think i'm going to conquer cuba sooner or later do i have to can i build oh, i can't build anything here there has to be at least one shipyard here somewhere don't tell me there's none oh there's one here so build one troop ship here that should do the job we can send some guys over here to take over the caribbean which is under cuban control and yeah you, you stay here and you just just hang around here so what what's the deal with you guys yeah, you guys are over here so i could take over is this even guarded maybe it's maybe it is maybe it isn't but what i want is i think i want hokkaido first because i really want to want to make sure that i that i do get a mainland japan under my control because that's going to be the easiest blow it's very few provinces it's an island which makes it harder for them to reconquer it easier for me to secure with my fleet and i'm going to gain a lot from conquering it they're going to lose a lot so and since we can completely ignore the fact that historically japan was uh, kind of difficult to invade and that makes it just so much easier for us yeah the soviet union seems to be doing better and once we put some pressure on japan we should be fine as well so what did we build here more of this stuff here oh yeah our carrier is already finished build that in like a couple of weeks i'm okay with that and yeah you get over here take over Hokkaido, Hokkaido soon where's my other fleet just lurking around you can actually check whether this is, is wait we cannot wait are these not adjacent it doesn't really matter I suppose in any case it's time for the conquest of Argentina yeah we should be ready for that because if you can take on everybody we could take on everybody else so we should be good here there's some guys guarding these provinces here that is nice as well I don't think I'm going to bother producing more stuff here. If anything, I'm probably going to build build tanks in Japan and ship them to mainland Asia. That strikes me as the easier option than shipping them back and forth over the Pacific. But I still want a transport fleet 
back home and wow the the british are they're decimating the germans here it looks like the germans lost too much in the east which i suppose is what historically happened in one way or another also those troops are just elegantly hopping over the himalayans which i'm sure is absolutely no problem especially with the vehicles and nobody has invaded Turkey yet. Italy isn't, hasn't gone on a ridiculous conquest spree. Albania is neutral. Albania turned out to be very difficult to conquer. And there we go in in reality, of course. And yeah, I think Japan just has either they spread out their ships too much or just sank too many of them and they don't recover. Well, I'm okay with that. So let's see. Let's turn our attention towards Argentina. Heroic victory. Please don't crash. Well, there we go, your war declaration and new hero. That is neat as well. And, oh yeah, there was, oh yeah, we got this post-conquest uh, revolt. That is fine. So we can also, can also remove some troops from South America soon. But first we want to fix you guys because, yeah, I think if I hadn't fixed these all the time, they probably would be in rather bad shape at one point. So let's get you... Let's get like two of you and a machine gun. I think this doesn't strike me as too expensive. They don't cost oil, and we probably won't. Let's just get one guy here. If, if they re if they rebel here, it's going to be fine. It seems these rebellions don't really deal that much damage, so they cost you some some income. But overall, this should be fine. So let's automate. Wait, no, let's not do that. We want to automate tax collection. Yes, I think we all we were already doing that. So let's do it for you guys as well. And, whoop, nope, it's not what I want to do. So let's fix everyone here. I don't know why I keep clicking on the actual province, because that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, uh, that, and it seems once the re regime affinity is good, they don't seem to re revolt at all. So it seems that the revolts are really just a, something you, that happens initially. And after that, that's kind of it. Let's check out our research. So we're now researching this. Did we, did we get a notification that we finished? Huh, I guess you did get that at one point. So anyway, on to stronger tanks. And then we probably want to uh, start the invasion of Japan. All right. Yeah, let's get you evacuated on here. And you know what? We may as well just do it with everyone because I'm not going to risk a loss, even though they might not... Wait, so could we see the guys if there are any guys here? I'm not still not entirely sure about that. You know what? Doesn't matter. Uh, we'll see. Okay, we have no spy here, so we can't see stuff. I should really bring a spy on here, but oh well, we'll, we'll get there. It is on, so let's see whether we have to fight 100 units. Oh, so they are actually Japanese units. Well, let's see whether or not this was a good idea. I expect other 100 tanks. Oh, oh, I should have. I think I could have given support with my ships, but oh well, too late for that now. Let's see. And yeah, you just shuffle your stuff around. Asia is in complete disarray. And France is on its way to be completely liberated. Well done, Winston. Okay, did they just flee? Maybe, maybe they just moved their troops the moment uh -huh. Peru. Yeah, Hokkaido's citizens are in revolt. That is to be expected. Okay, so we have got you guys here. Should we fix you? I think oh, you don't. Oh, I think they just moved away their troops anyway. So yeah, we should be good here. Oh, we can. Oh, we can upgrade these actually. Can we do this here? And what could we upgrade them to? Okay, so oh, so this, this is just a, a lateral upgrade, so this doesn't really get us much. That is fine. So can we move troops? Oh, we can just move troops to mainland Asia from here. So we, we don't even need a naval invasion. That is somewhat interesting. Can we move? Oh, we can move troops down here for sure. That's neat. In this case, we can move you down here and you down here. So let's see. I guess I'm going to build a barracks here. So this is, then again, I'm afraid they're going to rebel against us here if we don't guard this territory. And why, oh yeah, I should, should probably become one army. Okay, let's, let's, let's just uh, let's go back here for a moment. So there we go. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to, did we have here US engineer infantry? So 
you guys and you guys can just stay here and the rest of the boys just go here let's see what this should be i don't like this because you can barely see this cannon then again there's a gigantic flex so i guess that's not entirely accurate in any case the in in invasion of japan with no resistance is a go are we building stuff in argentina here let me build oh yeah we're building stuff here that is neat should we fix you you know what we can fix you at home because i don't think there's is there a tank factory here there's not so in this case we can we can just get get you home it's going to take a while but i don't think shipping is necessarily faster because we have to get the transport down here so yeah that, that shouldn't really be faster because everything moves at the same speed whether tank or transport even though i guess maybe there's less sea province here than there's actually no there's not in fact it could be more sea provinces than land provinces so we might be faster this way here in any case you can be repaired and this seems yeah once you're in revolts do so little little damage that it almost doesn't matter so you can automate the tax collection here and do you have no don't have any oil for me either oh, such such a disappointment so let's automate the tax collection you did that all why do why doesn't it save this information here that might be the worst part about the crash because the more i conquer the more I have, and I don't want to do it globally, otherwise it's, it gets automated in all of my home provinces as well, and I don't really want that for the time being. But damn it, we save up a lot of oil. In any case. So regime affinity here is fairly high, which I think means we can we can increase the tax a little I don't think you can go above, oh, whoa. You can get to 100%, how is that even possible? I don't know. I mean, who would work when you have, when you have to, when you get 100% taxed? That's a very good question, but anyway, I think the affinity drops were just from us invading a lot of innocent countries, but it's okay. So ah, uh, no need to no need to burden Alaska with more taxes. So huh, how many taxes do we have here? Ah, uh, I guess we can do that as well, as well. And wow, do we get a lot of money for, from the Philippines? I take it. Maybe it's just because they have many many citizens. Who knows? In any case, uh, yep, yeah, I think it's a go. So there we go. Indeed. And yeah, Germany uh, is a bit in a is a bit sandwiched here. Japan is still on a roll, but they, they seem to be fairly spread out, so once we once we roll in and build some tanks there and whatnot, we should have little trouble at least getting a permanent foothold. And the Soviets are, are on, on the move here as well. And there we go. Heroic victory. New hero, that is great. Rebellion. Okay, that's fine. So where was where was that rebellion? Okay, forcing the armies to retreat. Okay, so this becomes Japanese then again. That is okay, we can send more guys over there soon. So these guys here, oh yeah, these, these guys had to retreat and are damaged. That is fine. It's a bit annoying because that means we don't really i don't really want to split my troops right now then again we don't really need that we probably want to guard it automate tax collection let's do that and we've got more research centers built pretty much everywhere also on midway and hawaii and whatnot because that's ridiculous so can we give some i think there isn't there a support fire option or so thought there was but maybe there's not in any case you know what i don't think i like your face so there we go and didn't be oh yeah, we had another fleet here there we go so let's send for you as well because that's how i like it so do we just want to we could just hold out here for a moment and maybe oh you, do, you don't even need to get yourself fixed i guess that's why it was a heroic victory because nobody are you are you really the war hero stephen jones you sure are stephen jones um cannoneer extraordinaire yeah, we just want to, to conquer Tokyo. And is there any stuff here? There is. We do have a uh -huh, troop barracks for regular troops. You know what? Let's get an elite barracks here. And let's get some sheen gunners here. And some bazooka guys. That bazooka looks oddly curved, but that's okay with me. Yeah, let's let's do it like this. And yeah. Ah, doesn't this look beautifully green? Attempt to invade Canada, but I don't want to mess with the United Kingdom. That might not even be possible. So let's just not do that for the time being. And do I want to invade them 
right now, right here. I mean, if I wait, it could just mean that they send in more guys. We'll have to see. But let's just give it a shot. So... Yep, so it's on the march. Maybe you should kick out Japan first, but, well, who am I to judge? But nice to know that you don't need a fleet to invade Japan, so once you place the Soviet Union, you can probably just crush the Japanese, depending on how strong they are. Concentrate everyone in, in that province, if you would like to. And, okay, there we go. Oh, that was just that one transport. I should have known, because otherwise the stronger ships would have been the Sprite. Ah, I think it's a little bit of, a little bit overkill here, isn't it? <laughs> Minor victory because there was nothing, nothing to kill much. And there we go, heroic victory. Well, that was easy. New general, I'll take it. All right, that worked out. So we do have two generals here now. I guess we can put them in one army for the time being, and we should probably fix everyone. And, well, say everyone, we don't really have many guys to fix here. That's okay with me too. And we should probably have a nice amount of... a nice range of facilities here, I hope. Or, you know, maybe not. So, what do we need to... oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> then let's maybe get... Oh, so I thought I thought we'd have some some nice things here, but you know what? It doesn't really matter all that much. Build a steward, and what, or, or maybe several, we can... We can can fix that later. For the time being, I think we just want to. We've got all of our fleets here. That's nice too. Can we actually? Yeah, we can fix you. So you know what? Let's actually do that. We need to risk our ships now that we have conquered. Okay, so you can get over here and do the same. I think then we're going to conquer Japan with the with the newly built troop. That seems to be the the easier option. And what does our research research say? Oh. We, we actually finished our research project here. Huh. And we do... Wait, we do have that automated as well. So why, why did that disappear? What's the deal with that? I, I really don't know, to be honest. In any case, so what do we need for the for the big bombs? Which I doubt we will ever build. I guess we need... What do we even have here? Yeah, perforating projectiles. Let's get that and let's get you. And uh, what not. Yeah, I already didn't get that. So why, why did... Why didn't weren't we informed all the research progress? I know it's automated, but we were in the other... You know what? It doesn't matter. <sighs> Hoo -hoo. This does matter, but we'll have to see. Is, is Moscow really completely undefended? What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, so this looks actually pretty good. So Paris, Paris, Paris has been liberated. Oh, so, so France out of the war, but they... I guess they did a rebel? Huh. That's... That is somewhat interesting. That is somewhat interesting. But we'll, we'll have to see. In any case. Yeah, Britain uh, has conquered Indonesia as well. That is good to know. And the Borneo Silips are still under German control. But I'm okay with that. Taiwan or Formosa is Japanese. Uh -huh, just tempt to send some guys over there. But that's, that's a story for another time. So we have... Oh, we do actually have a nice amount of guys here. I almost forgot about that. Should we get a can factory? You know what? Maybe not. But we can get some more guys here. Maybe elite guys. Let's get some some rangers and some some marines and commandos and snipers and these guys and those guys. Let's get all the guys. And once our ships are repaired, we can maybe ship some guys to to China or so, maybe to Korea because well, Japan seems to have spread their troops a little bit thin anyway. Oh, let's check out how how far our guys here are. Now that we, that we have more upgrades, I guess we can upgrade you. You are you the most? Uh -huh. So you're the most expensive upgrade. So I assume you're the best. Uh, what what are you even? Pershing, and we've got the Sherman here. But we don't want to upgrade these guys right now. We want to upgrade the guys in the Pacific. Well, the other end of the Pacific is what I mean by that. The best chance is that Britain overruns Germany and then the Soviets can focus on the Japanese while I overrun the Japanese. That seems to be the the best option. So those guys are still moving north. That's okay because transporting them that way is evidently faster. There we go. Steel vanadium alloy. Okay, so we did, we did get a notification for that. Well, that's good to know. And we are researching this. 
Okay, uh, I guess we got that a little bit late because we could already get those upgrades last time, but what do I know? And building construction is still on its way, that's good to know. I think it seems the Japanese can't really do all that much here, so for the time being we're just going to going to fix stuff here now that we have can, can fix our generals here now that we have the factories here to do that that is pretty sweet uh, you guys can move over to the Philippines and you can move over oh wait so this is one this is one province okay so we should be able to ship them right over here sweet you cannot get yourself repaired for some reason I guess I guess we have to be in in like the of uh, this I think this has like 15 different names depending on which, which country you live, but I'm okay with that. And I guess naval provinces aren't named here. Who cares? So... I attempt to send guys out, but... Yeah, I'm still building units here. But that's generally okay. So can we can we upgrade you now that we have... Um, oh, so that's another lateral upgrade. So I, I'm not quite sure whether this is actually worth it, but... You know what, let's just do that, and then we might also interrupt construction here in the favor of a better things to construct okay, let's get a couple of these then the upgrade later will be cheaper even though let's face it it doesn't really matter it just just changes when we spend our money but i'm okay with that too yeah britain is still making good progress that is neat those guys are almost almost back home well they may oh the soviets just conquered turkey because why not and i guess this Factory here does need, yeah, this does, does need another round, but I'm okay with that. And yeah, can't produce any rockets yet, but that's fine too. I don't think we need any of this. It just doesn't seem to be worth it. This is another one of those games where the high tier unit just, high tier units just make everything obsolete. That that we have otherwise. Is this actually no? These are not connected. That would be ridiculous. But I think what we can do here is, so we have these guys here. I think. We, we might actually just uh, just kind of march march to Asia here. Yeah, let's actually do that because I think that's fun. But before we do that, uh, the, you guys can can stay here and maybe get yourself upgraded for one round or so. That should definitely be worth it. Let's pump out some more tanks. Oh, Japan's actually moving against me. I don't like that, but I'm also pr producing more stuff there, so there's a non-zero chance that I'm go actually going to win that battle. Europe is pretty much a patch, but ooh, they're sending everyone against me. I'm not quite sure if I'll like that. Heroic victory, I guess. Well, that wa that wasn't a whole bunch of guys. Okay, let's be careful here. Thank you for not crashing. I tried to turn off those films. It doesn't seem to be possible, or if it is, I haven't... Oh, I guess Tokyo Revolt is already finished. That is good to know. Awesome, so it looks like the Japanese can't really beat us here. Uh, they did do some damage, but that's okay. And now that we have that factory ready, let's get a uh, heavy vehicle factory. Now that if you're ready, we may as well build some Shermans here. One Sherman, because once the heavy factory is good to go, we can move on to... Okay, so they don't seem to have a whole lot of stuff here, so I might start splitting off guys soon. And then then try to try to conquer the the southern part here all right speaking of which i think i want to split up a bunch of you guys i think pretty much everyone but you so you can stay here and you can take these guys here i guess there's not enough space is there oh wait, wait a sec oh that's not even my guy my guy is here oh well i did not did not see you there japan that's okay that is okay Yep, can't can't board those guys with my marines. Disappointing, but acceptable. Really, we really amazed that Moscow hasn't been conquered yet. But well, hmm. <laughs> oh, a truce and money. Uh, you know what? Reject treaty. What can we do here? Uh, sorry. That's the first time I've seen, Jap uh, or any AI nation actually offer stuff that wasn't just tech exchange. Neat. Speaking of tech exchange, we should probably see whether we can do some tech exchange. In fact, I should have done that earlier. But let's see. So, Winston, what, what's the deal with you? Technology. Magnetic mines. More technology. Torpedo. Fat torpedoes. And what can what can I give? Let's just try to do a... Nope. Don't want that. 
a straight exchange, yeah, why not? And synthetic rubber. Yep. Thanks. Uh, so, how about how about you, Joseph? Technology. Whoop. No. Yeah, portable radio. Take that. Parachutes. Sounds good to me. Yep. We can. You, you can probably use that. How about that? Great deal. Yeah. Let's do some. Well, I guess that's not quite land and lease, but you know what I mean. Okay. So and is that yes? Yeah, factory still on. On the go here, that's fine. So, and yeah, so we can start upgrading you also because it's. I think it only takes one round in any case, but you know what? No matter. Also, also we can actually upgrade you into to these guys here. I did not know that. Well, can we upgrade you into? Yep, I'm going to do that. Why not? So let's check out. So you can, I guess we can downgrade these guys here, but never mind. And we can transfer these. I'm okay with that too. And weren't we repairing these guys here too, I guess? Huh. Whatever. And what's the deal with you? Okay, I think you're already, already doing well enough. Okay, so Japan's still lurking around here, but that's okay with me. You guys can board the ship here. Oh. Really? How do the Philippines not have a port? How? Well, we're going to have port in two rounds. Man, none of these provinces have anything, really. And... How does Tokyo not have intelligence headquarters? You know what? Let's just not question this. Oh, there's actually... Wait, where, where are you guys? I'm here and you are here. How did... How? Never mind. Guess we're going to fight that out. Next rounds. Okay, time to see what's happening. And this game is a really interesting mix between being not fiddly at all and being super fiddly. Yep. Oh, Turkey is now property of the people. That's good to know. And there's another ocean battle here. Oh, is that another transport? I can't, or maybe they just built that. That could be the case. In any case, this is once more a tad of a loop-sided battle here. Minor a victory. Parachutes, uh... Yep, I I take that. Awesome. Okay, there we go. And yeah, got a bunch of dudes here. That is nice too. And yeah, still have to wait two rounds here, but that's fine. And look at my shiny, shiny army. Why can't we repair anyone? Is, wait, do we really have... There's no barracks for regular troops here. What What is even happening? I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. In any case, we have a bunch of tanks here and we should have enough for defense. So we can just establish a tank army here. And the tank army is going to invade the South Island because I don't think Japan is going to produce a whole bunch of stuff. So this should work just fine. So we do have uh, George Smith Patton here and we have Mark Wayne Clark who looks like Patton's twin brother. Isn't that a shock? Didn't we have a, a hero here? I guess maybe that guy got himself killed. Who knows? In any case, do we want to do anything else? I don't th really think we need to. We could build more stuff here if we really wanted to, but we don't really want to ship more stuff over here. Let's get another intelligence headquarters, even though once more I don't really care for... And let's maybe get... S oh, do we already have a research center here? Maybe. I don't really care for, for using spies all that much. It just seems to be fiddly and not terribly necessary whenever i complain about this game it's probably oh yeah this you know what i don't care about the taxes or do i okay let's just set this to 65 and let's automate it then which probably means it's going to be lowered at one point but at least we can get something out of this yeah these provinces are surprisingly valuable compared to some of the european ones this one here not so much but that's okay I guess maybe it's based on population count. If that would be the case, I should probably take about China and India because those have to be worth quite a bit in that case. All right. I mean, maybe the people are happy now because you know, what what do you like more than to be conquered by a foreign imperialist power and then then be highly taxed? I mean, that's really what we all want deep deep within. 
And wow, Britain is still holding the Britain is holding the line. And looks like they're cleaning up Africa soon as well. I'm kind of surprised Italy can help hold Libya. They're probably stuck there. Because there we go. Minor victory. They're probably stuck there because wow, well, they really had nobody in that province. I could have conquered that quite a while ago. They conquered Osaka. Path writing projectiles. Saka revolt, nobody cares. Whoa, 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 what ha what just happened here? What was what what? What's going on here? That I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to happen. This is just some sort of shroud effect. Um This does not look nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, everybody's everybody's just charcoal black. This oh this is really weird. This is really weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to split off yeah, they were way weaker than I thought. We're going to split off. I'm not quite sure what's happening with this campaign here, but wow. Stuff here is crashing all the time. In any case, what we want to do is get maybe one or two of you separated. And then you can take the southernmost part of Japan here. And there's still have a bunch of guys there, so uh, I, I still don't have the barracks here. So I can't fix my infantry. That is okay. We're going to get there soon. Do we have this port now? I think we do, yeah. That's, that should be fine then. There we go, finally. Okay, let's move on. So maybe conquer China or maybe Formosa first. We'll have to see. That should work out just fine. Are you my transport fleet? Uh, you're not. In any case, you can move over here. And you don't even need repairs. That is fine. I guess I could... Could just separate you from the, the bulk of the army. And then again, I'm uh, not quite sure whether I want to. I think for the time being we're okay. But are we producing stuff here? We are not. So let's get... Let's get, one, let's get a bunch more Shermans here. Of course, you would for, forget about tax collection. It just never works out. Yeah, we're going to... Oh, we're going to get a lot of money out of here. We, we do have enough money anyway. Are we even researching? Yes, we are researching. So what do we want after these... These uh, rockets here? What? Where, where even is this? Oh, there we go. So do we want the... Okay, so we have to research all of this. So we... You know what? We're going to go straight for the nuke. And wow, do we need a lot of stuff for that. Look at this. This is never going to happen, but I don't care. Yeah, I hope the nuke is really powerful. But then again, you never seem to be able to research that anyway, because that's just so far away. But the point we have, I have so much money to just throw at the research. I don't think we need that bomb any, anymore. But I don't care. All I do care about is... Conquest of Japan. There we go. Heroic a victory. Oh no, that means um, the game's going to crash again because we get another film here. Okay. New general. Oh, thanks for not crashing. Okay, there we go. Conquered more stuff. Construction stuff. Sherman, whatnot. There we go. Okay, so can we upgrade you guys now? We can upgrade you. Sweet. Let's upgrade all of you because I can. Wait, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. I want all up to upgrade all of you, not upgrade one guy into several models. There we go. Wait, you are... Wait, you, what are you right now? You are Sherman and you, you're supposed to become a Pershing. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Um... Uh, wait a second. So we have a. This is a different. Sh yeah, that's. Oh, that's a different Sherman. Okay, fine with me. Uh, you guys. Uh, don't really care for that right now. And yeah, we don't have that factory here, but that is fine. And did we gain. Where did we gain that general anyway? So we do have one here. And let's get. Tax collection automated here. Same here. And let's raise the tax a little bit. What's the affinity in Tokyo? Oh, these guys already like us. Wow, the, man, this is so easy. And we got you here. So they did they did go after us, but 
Uh, yeah, that's fine with me. So, unit construction. We can produce... Uh, we can produce Pershings. Yes, yeah, so are these... The Pershings are the most expensive ones, which leads me to believe that they are the best ones. And it also takes two rounds to produce them. But I'm okay with that. So let's just do... Let's just do that. And you can take over... You know what? Let's go for for Formosa first. There we go. And then we can then we can invade China. In the meantime, what can we what can we produce here? Just some stuff. Oh I don't even have why why does Tokyo have no um, Tokyo. Man in Japan have no production facilities for anything. I don't even know. Maybe do these buildings get like burnt down or so? Doesn't really matter. Can you get yourself repaired? Uh, no, you no, you can't, and you don't need to. We should also check what the troops on their way to to Alaska are actually doing, and what my ships are doing there. And we should probably check out the situation in continental Europe soon. Ooh, Germany is on the on the march again. Let's see. There we go. Minor victory. So not a problem for us. Heroic victory, sweet. New hero. And still no crash, that is good. Why are Famosa citizens in revolt? That's, they should be mainly Chinese and natives of Famosa, so we should be good here. In any case, I guess we can split off like one guy here. Just a regular guy. Oh wait, do we even have regular guys here? Not really, you only have US commandos, but that's fine. So you can get split up here. I guess we can't be expelled here, but we should be good. Yeah, let's build one of these here just for repair purposes, just because I can afford that, and that's just that's just how I roll. And we get over here. And you know what? I think can we can we fix you finally? Okay, so we're going to fix all of these. Oh, we still don't have the really we still yeah, we still don't have that. This is unbelievable. But you can get yourself fixed. That is neat. Okay, that's that's great. You can get get yourself fixed, even though it doesn't really cost us much. And so, what's the what's the deal here? There we go. So, how's how are our troops going? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I forgot. If you if you reload, they they erase all of that. That is so disappointing. So, what do you even have here? Could you guys here? You guys here? You should probably get yourself. Oh yeah. Actually, that was my fault. What's happening here? Oh, not this again. Alright, so those troops in California are going to get themselves repaired and then march to Alaska, even though it may or may not be necessary. In any case, we do have a whole, whole bunch of generals here, which is fine. I think we're also going to send over everyone, but... Okay, so you can, you can stay here. Get over here as well. You get yourself not repaired because we don't have time for that, but that's fine. We're going to see this revolt here is quenched, and if, oh, we actually that that is apparently worth nothing. That's good to know. And what was the deal with you? I think there was a, yeah, I think there was a, a Japanese fleet around there somewhere. But you know what? Doesn't really matter. We're going to deal with that once it pops up again. They might have run out of oil at this point, actually. I hadn't really considered that. Let's see, so Britain's turn. Yep, Libya is still... Libya is still Italian. Italians could hold that, but yeah, my, my theory was that they were just stuck in... Okay, there we go. And nope, not gonna do that, but thanks for the offer. Okay, so that did not. Nation has lost Osaka. Oh, so uh, mm -hmm. so sent those guys over there. That's okay. Can deal with that soon. Man, they are. They didn't waste any time here, didn't they? You know what? That's actually okay. Can we finally repair these guys here? We totally can. At this point here. Huh, I guess we should have should have oppressed those guys more. Oh, it's okay. We're going to. Going to get to that. For now, we just want to expel all the forces we have there. Of course, we can't fix those guys, but let's let's see about that. So we've got you. 
being produced here. And what we also want to do is split off, I guess, one of you guys here. Maybe you and maybe uh, maybe one machine gunner guy. And then can we can merge you guys. We can get you. Well, that's exactly what I didn't want to do, but never mind. So there we go. Um, I don't know. Here we go. Okay, you get a bot. Oh, there's no pot. I could, so so I can't get these guys here off until I build build a pot here. That is that is so frustrating, especially because I could land here without a pot, but I can't get them back on the ship without a pot. Um, how does Formosa not have a pot? Can someone explain that to me? In any case, what's the regime loyalty here? And not terribly high, is it? But that's okay. Um, pretty high in Tokyo, so it looks like we looks like we propagandized all those people. And then let's see. You can we can get up here, and so can you. There we are. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm going to end it here for now. We're going to finish our conquest of Japan next time and then invade mainland Europe. But for now, let's have a look at the Soviet Union. Still holding the line. Germany is recovering parts of Eastern Europe, but at the same time losing parts of Germany. So they're concentrated here, but the British also have a lot of stuff. And But with all these fleets here, they, they could probably easily remove stuff from the UK. France is sort of independent again, which I guess is nice. And Italy is holding the line as well. But and, and Turkey is now Italian. And Iran is Japanese. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.